For this construction project, we're going to build and solder a ballon. You may recall in your foundation training discussing ballons. A ballon, which is a contraction of the words balanced and to unbalanced, is used on antennas such as dipole to convert the signals generated on both sides of the dipole into a single signal, which is passed down the centre pin of the coax cable and into the antenna port of your transceiver. I'm joined now by Lee Mike 7 Mike Uniform Tango, and we're going to build a ballon. There's several different styles of ballon that you can build, and the idea of, of all of them is the same. It's to stop any RF current flowing down the outside of your coax when you have an unbalanced feeder. So let's say that you have a simple dipole antenna. This is a balanced antenna. That means that the two sides look the same. If we were to use something like a ladder line feeder, we could connect that straight to the antenna. But instead, if we want to use coax, that's an unbalanced feeder. It looks like a center inner core and then a shield around the outside. And we want to connect this up to our dipole. We want to do that in a way that means that no RF current is going to flow on the outside of that shield. It's all going to flow on the inside instead. And we can do that by putting a ballon here at the feed point. There's lots of different designs of ballon and you can make most of them very easily yourself. One really easy way of doing this if you're just in a bit of a tricky situation is to use one of these large split ferrite cores. This is two lumps of a sort of iron plus other materials mix and you can snap it together like that and it forms a bit of a donut. If you've got your coax you can push that through the center and it's great being split because it means even if you've got a connector on the end of your coax you can very easily just do this with uh, around it with it in place and I'm just going to wrap as many turns as I can get through that center. It's important that it's going to be able to close right up so there's no gaps between it and that's a really simple ballon. But today we're going to build quite a simple design based on one single ferrite core. Now it's important when you buy these cores that you buy the correct type of core for the design. And a core is made up of two, uh, the core type is two numbers. For example, 120-63. Now the first number is how big it is. And the second number is the type of material. So this is a type 63 ferrite. That's generally pretty useful for a lot of HF frequencies. So if a design for a ballon that you want to build says you need a 120-63 core, make sure you do get that type. Very similar to the, the simple clip-on ferrite, we're going to grab our coax. And of course, this one doesn't split in half, so you not, need to not have a connector on the end at this stage. And you're going to pass it through the center of the ferrite core. So you probably want about a meter of coax sticking through the center of your toroid. Once you've done that, you might find it useful to just use a cable tie to secure that in place at the start. Now, each time you pass that coax through the center, that counts as one turn. And we're gonna go around just on one half at the moment. And we're gonna put probably five turns on. So we've got one already. I'm going to put another one on. That's now two turns and keep these nice and tight as you go. So that's two turns, three turns, four and five. So I've gone through the center five times and spread those around about a half of that toroid. Now, once you've done that, this is the slightly tricky bit. You've got your free end here going through the bottom. You want to bring that across the back near to where that first turn came in. So you haven't put it through the center anymore, but you've kind of brought it diagonally across. And then I'm going to bring that up 
and then back down again. Okay, so I've just now come across the center and I've got my first turn on the other side. And now you wind in the opposite direction another five, another four times. So five turns total on that side. Uh, with the original wire, I'm in it at the moment. Um, yep, so you should. Yeah. This is this is the sort of the long bit of okay. your coax feeder. And we should be winding to come back. And ideally, you want all of these turns nice and evenly spread, with none of them overlapping. Just got to trim off part of my cable tie. That looks great. So what we've got here is we've got our coax coming in at the bottom, around this side, crossing over, and around the other side and then coming out. And that will then connect onto our antenna. You now secure the other end, this end of it, that's loose at the moment, secure that with another cable tie. It should look a bit like that. Great. So you've now made a ballon. And that's all it is, all there is to it. The reason, by the way, that we did that crossover in the middle is if we'd gone all the way around and come out right next to the input, then sometimes those two bits can couple together and you don't get quite as good an effect as if you bring them out on opposite sides. So that crossover in the middle can be a little bit tricky to to wind, but it does give a much better result.